Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Rocket and Fitchick here. Um, we are in the White Mountain National Forest and we're hiking Car Mountain today. So we're about half a mile in from the trailhead and um, this is where a three, three ponds trail um, splits and we take Car Mountain Trail. This isn't a very trafficked trail. Um, so we'll see how the conditions are gonna be. It looks like there's been a few inches of fresh snow in the last few days. It looks like maybe one person has walked the trail. Um, but, all right guys, hiking Car Mountain. Stick around. Got some horseshoe fungus. See that? It's a good fire starter right there. Oh yeah. See that right there? And uh, when it's dried out, which that is, this takes a spark super easily. Um, you can use like a flint and steel, one spark, you can get in there, start an ember, and that'll burn. This thing right here would probably burn for 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Just hold an ember. So um, you'd have plenty of time to find you know, some tinder and blow it into flame and pretty sweet. I'm going to hold on to that. Guys, this is a, a black birch. Um, somebody call some people call it sweet birch. Um, you see these little buds on it? They taste like, like kind of between spearmint and wintergreen. Mm, I do. Which way they go? 
what it even is. It looks like a peat plants, but. What? <clears throat> well, kind of strange. We're like in the middle of nowhere, like literally. And there's like f one set of footprints. It looks like person prints. Just going across the trail. Look weird though. That's like moose prints or something. That's what? Unless it's a moose print. No, it's not. Yeah, I think it might be. You guys can kind of see how much snow there is here by looking at this. There's a good, probably a good two and a half feet. These are polypore mushrooms. Grow primarily on birch trees. Um, you can see. They can grow very large. Um, they have great medicinal properties. Um, you can slice them up and boil them in water and make a tea. That is very good for you. And you can dry them out and be used as a fire starter. Or you can actually slice them up to bigger ones and you can use them to strop your knife to do your final um, sharpening on your knives. Poop. Scat. Scat, scat. I don't know what that is. Be cool. I don't have my scat book on me. You have about two. Yes, I do. You're sick. <laughs> I have a poop book. Hey. Poop book. trail marker possibly you can see the woodpeckers really been going to town on these trees Searching for the grub tunnels. Pretty crazy. Goes all the way up. A little bark right here. All scratched off. Yeah, I see more trees here. Right here. Oh, yeah. There's a good one up here, too. Yeah, everywhere in here. You can see right there. That's a good one. What could it be? Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's what? Oh, so I have a game camera. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> game camera right there. Oh, my God. Like, all through here. There's a whole line of trees that are all scarred up all through here.
That's freaking crazy. I'm gonna take the. Look older, but... I'm gonna take the card out of that game camera. And take a look at it. <laughs> I know. Like, who would do that? Well, holy crap, dude! Look at that. Yeah, I really want to stumble upon one right now. Everywhere. Like everywhere. Everywhere you look. Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, Chaga. snow is crazy deep up here guys luckily it's like a crusty layer so you only go down a little ways but it's gotta be I don't know. see some holes are like five feet deep car mountain you're a bitch snow is a little crustier over here Beards at the top. Yes. Yeah, We're gonna get there. <laughs> we are. I see the mountains. I see them. Do you see them? Chickadees They're all around us. Just came across some moose tracks. Into the woods here. I'll show you how much snow there is here. He went down pretty far. There. Look at that. You guys see some moose droppings in there. It's all tracked up everywhere. You can see how these how high that's rubbed up. This is all moose. It's been rubbing these trees. It's all everywhere. That's where it is. Yeah, like some of them go up high. Nice to find a moose rack. made it guys it's in sight it's been tough going it's a lot of snow Mountain guys, Whew. 
you know, pretty obstructed view, but still pretty darn cool. Used to be a, like a fire tower up here. You can see all the pylons. We're actually supposed to be building something else up here in the next couple of years, some kind of tracking station or something. All right, we took some pics. Find a little spot over here. Sit on the rock, drinking beers. Beer. Cooking and heating up some water. Just gonna cook up a quick batch of Mountain House lasagna, meat sauce, finish these beers, and get the hell out of here. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Top of Mount Car. It was a rough hike up here, let me tell you. Yeah. Very rough. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to try to wrap it up here. Um, just going to eat real quick and uh, head back down. But I just want to say thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, some really beautiful country up here. Some, some of the most beautiful forests I've ever hiked through, honestly. Um, snow is a little crazy, you know, no one, no one comes up here, obviously, but there's a lot of wildlife. That's yeah, for sure. a lot of wildlife, obviously, um, moose and deer and who knows, I don't know, so many, the trees are so scratched up. I, I think it's for moose mostly, um, but whatever, but, uh, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all your support. Um, stay tuned for the next video, uh, rocket outdoors, fishing adventures. See you on the next one guys.